I was lucky enough to be at Comic Con when you came out and gave that wonderful oh. moment in that speech. Right on, right on. And we've heard that you were a fan of the character, you know, since you were a kid. Mm -hmm. When they said that, hey, they're casting this movie, they're interested in having people doing it, like, you know, did you freak out? Like, what was your reaction? And I mean, were you like, you have to get me in there for an audition right away? Like, no, not at all, because I, 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 I I'm not that kind of per I know that kind of person that would be like, I need, I, I like, like, I'm ambitious. I'm, I'm an ambitious person, but I'm very English. <laughs> so like I'm not pushy in that way. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. We can do it if, you want, if they want to call me, they can call me. When I first heard they were starting again, I was just excited as a fan. I was like, oh my God, I get to watch Spider-Man on the big screen again. That was all I was feeling. And now that's obviously different because now, you know, <laughs> you, you can't enjoy it as much when it's you. Um, because, you know, like actors find it hard to watch themselves for the most, of, most of the time. So. Um, but then when, when, I would, I would, when they asked me to audition, I was so excited. And you've had some really tough dramatic roles, but I'm curious, was this the hardest thing that you've done so far? Mm -hmm. And I was talking to Martin and, and Emma as well, and they said that you're so prepared for every single scene that, they, that Emma compares you uh, to Meryl Streep, I'm sure that's a wonderful company. And uh, that, um, <laughs> you're, <Stupid. laughs> that you're so prepared, there's no other Stupid. actor actor she's ever been with in that way. And, is that just how you work as an actor? I guess, yeah. I mean, I think on this, I worked harder than I've ever worked mm. for many reasons because, you know, there was, the, 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 there was a lot of work to be done because it's such a huge undertaking for everyone um, in terms of making sure the story was as robust and, you know, kind of like true and logical and um, emotional. And there were questions about the costume and, you know, accent and, and every time we'd, we'd come to a scene, we'd rewrite it and we'd make, try and make it better. And, and there was a lot of improvisation and, and like accent work and, and physicality work, of course, and emotional work. And then, you know, you, then you had the humor of the character. There was just a lot of things to kind of, to bring to it. And I felt on top of that, I thought, well, I could just show up and do my best or I could really, really work hard at it and do my best. And I had to do the latter because of how much I care about the character. And I just have to ask you about that accent thing. Is that I noticed in the film, you've got this little thing where you do this, yeah, yeah. It's like this little part that I noticed when you were doing the character. And I'm just curious where you picked that up or... Seriously, you picked that up? Yeah, I did, because it, it's not something that you see an actor who's playing a guy from New York like do very often, and it's very young. That was my hook of the year. Yeah, yeah. The, the, we, me, yeah, me and Liz Himmelstein, my dialect coach, we went to Queens and we sat down with a couple of um, a couple of high school kids and one of them, I have it, I have it on my iPod. And he's like, like he goes, yeah, yeah. They did just that that one thing and, and the, like that higher tone. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm really that's really cool. See, I, I, good yeah. ear, good I ear. I try. That's anyway, awesome. congratulations, Thanks, man. man.